might just take us inside the dressing room and then in, in the last few days, what has the feeling been like around the squad after delivering a performance like that last Friday? Um, yeah, we're, we were obviously very happy with how we went, um, but I suppose we weren't going to rest on it too much. Like um, It was very much so, kind of look at what we needed to fix and then move on pretty quickly um, now to the challenge ahead this weekend. Um, so yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't too much dwelling on it or anything, or kind of patting ourselves on the back. It was more just get ready to go again this weekend. You had a nice goal on Friday as well to get involved with it. Uh, just talk to us about you know what's asked of you in a situation like that where the team is in the driving seat, but you need to go on and finish the job. What's in, what's your mindset coming on? Yeah, so for all of us on the bench, really, when we came on, it was very much to kind of fit in. Like obviously the lads had done a brilliant job for the first sixty minutes, so it wasn't. We weren't looking to change anything there, like so. It was very much so, kind of fit in, do our job, and then try and just bring a bit of energy. Um, yeah, so like just kind of when we got on, just really to try and just, just kind of back up the boys and back up the work that they'd already done for the first sixty minutes, and just try to give them that energy for the last twenty as well. And just finally, then um, it must be a great deal of satisfaction in the forwards and with Paul with how well the lineup went. I think all of the tries either directly or, or eventually came from line-up ball after what happened in the World Cup. Was that the case? Um, yeah, I suppose it's always great um, to get a couple more tries. Um, I suppose from like our perspective, like it wasn't really anything major needed to change. Like, it was just a few little small tweaks. Um, and I thought we took a step in the right direction there. It was good. Um, and yeah, obviously, as a forward pack, we were delighted that we managed to get over. Ron, just a further on the line there, like what, what kind of tweaks did you make? Like what, is it just a question of timing and it kicks on the line, or is, is there specific things that you worked on with Paul since the World Cup? Um, not really specific things, really. It was more just like, as I said, just keep tweaking the small details. So, um, for example, in like the line at lift and stuff like that, and in the line at throw, and it's all about, as you said, the timing bit and just. Uh, yeah, obviously just clicked um, last weekend. It was good, um, but yeah, there was no, no major revamp or anything like it. it. Was more just keep doing what we're doing, um, and as I said, just those small little tweaks to what we were doing. Just in terms of the competition for places as well, like, does does it matter that much to you whether you, you start an opportunity yourself and, and Dan? Like, is that still a big deal, or because the hooker's position where you always change, you always get your your turn? I guess in, in the match, like, is it equally important to come off the bench, or is it something that you'd be pushing for to start this week? Um, Obviously, it'd be nice to start, like, um, but I you know there I have a job to do if I do come off the bench, um, and that's as I said, is to bring energy and provide the. <laughs> right, yeah, that's to provide energy and stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously, it will be nice to get the start. But yeah, as you said, knowing that front row position really, like you know, you're gonna get probably around. Around 20 minutes, maybe a touch more, touch less, like. But yeah, you still have a big job too when you come on. Carry on. Uh, sorry, yeah, just one more for me, Ron. Um, just about the crowd, you, you played away so much. The fans and fans were so, so amazing during the World Cup. But, uh, mm -hmm. how Happy are you all to, or how much are you looking forward to playing in front of the home fans again after such a long time? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Obviously, um, as you said there, um, like over the period of the World Cup, the fans were absolutely amazing. Um, even last weekend again, unbelievable. So it'd be great to go out in front of a full stadium and deliver them a performance that they can be happy with and proud of. So yeah, we're all really looking forward to that. When we've seen new faces in and around the group, do you see any differences? With this group and the World Cup squad? Um, obviously, there's a couple of um, good few changes, obviously, with the retirement of the two lads. Like, um, but in terms of differences, it's kind of, it's kind of like it's a slightly new group, but there's obviously still the bulk of the lads are the same. Like, so it's very much so just we're just looking to keep progressing um, what we built on, um, even in the lead up to the World Cup. Um, so. Yeah, I'd say like probably a few small changes, but for the bulk of it, it's majority the same, yeah.
and a win like he's, like he's had in France, the, the margin in which is won by. Did you ever think growing up watching Ireland play that they could put on a performance like that in France? Um, yeah, for, like I suppose I was fortunate enough to see a very successful Irish team growing up, like and looking, I suppose, looking at Johnny's drop goal in France there, like um, only what six years ago, seven years ago, or whatever, like uh, like that really showed that it's doable, like and you can really put on a performance over there. So yeah, for us as a group, like we're just kind of happy that we managed to do our little bit for history, really, I suppose. Um, brilliant, yeah. He's a really strong, really strong scrummager. Um, he's kind of fitted into the group brilliantly. Um, yeah, great fella. Obviously, he has loads of experience from playing there in the Southern Hemisphere. So, kind of been tapping into that, like um, getting his perspective on the game. So, uh, yeah, he's been great. How about for this someone who has that experience with Crusaders, able to give you little nuggets here and there? Yeah, it's unbelievably helpful, even just to see um, kind of a different perspective on the game, like and how they viewed things down there. So, yeah, he's been really useful resource, really, to kind of keep tapping into. So, yeah, it's been great.